Well, Coach, welcome to hockey season. A nice little thriller there for you. Three goals, four in total in the third period in the comeback effort and an overtime victory here in Winnipeg to get things started. How are you processing the fun that was your first one of the season? Yeah, yeah, it was interesting. Yeah, it took a breath, right? Um, first period, uh, we weren't very good. They were good. I thought in a second we turned it on. We started playing faster with some pace to our game, and I thought the power play looked good even though we didn't get anything on it. And that kind of created some momentum, and then, yeah, it was kind of a seesaw. And then the third, I thought we uh, showed some real character. What was said or done in that second or first intermission that you saw 19 shots come away with your club in the second period, the most the Ice Hogs have put up against Manitoba in general, who has a pretty stingy defense. But like you said, it, it seemed to turn the tide of the momentum with all those chances you were creating. Yeah, what do you mean with the second there? Yeah, I mean, we just, I mean, it was we're just talking to the guys, but just stick with it here. We're fine. We're going to, if we get one, we'll get two. And then I think once, once we got one there, I thought we got some momentum and, and guys got excited and here we go. You saw all the pieces come together for your Ice Hogs, especially in the third period. Reichel with a couple of points there. Luke Philp coming in. Brett Sini with the game winner. It seemed like, it, it, like you said, it just took that one. But what was it about this crew that kept on clicking and, and found chemistry almost instantaneously, it seems? Well, I mean, they haven't played a lot. It's one thing to practice together, but you know, now they got some some shifts together, some you know, a period together. And now they start reading off each other a little bit better. So I think as the game went on, the, both those lines got better. And uh, I think our, you know, even our, you know. Middle six there were really good. I know you've seen it at practice, you've seen it in games, but Lucas Reichel, three points all coming in that third period. A couple of ice hogs with multi points as well, but it seems like Lucas ready to take his game to the next level. I'd imagine today's that good first step. Yeah, I thought he was good. Uh, I thought he picked it up there second and third with the rest of the team. Uh, I thought he was reading off of Gusta Secura much better. I thought those guys did a good job of just creating room for him as well. Luke Phillip, two goals and an assist. The Gordie Howe hat trick for him for dropping the gloves in the second period. I'd imagine you like seeing some grit, but at the same time being able to, to put up some numbers with it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it was a Gordie. I think he had two goals, right? Didn't have two goals and a, and a little scrap. So, But, uh, yeah, I, it was really good. I thought he was good all over the ice. And then Brett Sini, the game winner. It seemed like it was only time would tell when he would get his opportunity, but that short side high, a window of maybe two, three inches, that was an incredible shot. What did you see? <laughs> exactly that. It was an incredible shot. <laughs> well, now how do you take this momentum and build forward? Obviously, you don't want to have to fight from down 3 nothing going into the third period every time, but I'd imagine that's a lot of positive momentum going into tomorrow's rematch. Yeah, there's some things we've got to clean up, but I think we know that in there, and we'll look at them, and we'll get better here. It's game one. In your mind, what was the biggest positive to take away, especially in the third period? Where did you feel like the Ice Hogs made the most improvements to see this comeback effort tonight? Well, I think the guys showed a lot of character, right? It's all the credit to them. They decided once we got the first one, okay, here we go, guys. And I think some of those older guys that have been around were really good on the bench, so all the credit to them.